Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT's session on the command line for operating systems, part two. Today we're going to be talking specifically about command line to recover from a crash. In order to do that, we need to talk about how to enter recovery mode, and then we're going to talk about some command line utilities that you can use once you are there. And with that, let's go ahead and begin this session. Of course, we're going to begin this session by talking about how to enter the recovery mode, which is where you want to be if your system will not boot up. The first thing that you're going to need are your system's disks. You're going to need the operating system. It needs to be the same disks as the operating system that you're trying to repair. Then you need to insert the media, whether it be USB or CD, and boot to that media. In order to do that, on a lot of systems, when you power up, you can hit F8 to adjust the boot order. Although you might have to enter the BIOS in order to change the boot order. Once it comes up, you'll be given an option to repair. If you pick that option with Windows XP, you'll enter the repair console. If you pick that option with Windows Vista and newer, you'll enter the repair environment. You fix the problem, then you power down, remove the media, and then power the PC back up to ensure that the repair has been made. Now let's talk a little bit more about the recovery console in Windows XP. You use it to help recover a crashed system. Once you bring it up and you have the command prompt, you can always type in forward slash question mark and then enter to find out the list of commands that are available to you from this command prompt. Now let's talk about the recovery environment. That's in Windows Vista and newer. Just like with the recovery console in Windows XP, this is used to help recover a system that has had a problem. Once you get the command prompt, you can, as with all command prompt utilities, type forward slash question mark to list the display of the commands that can be used. Now let's discuss the most common recovery console and recovery environment commands that are used to recover a PC that will not boot to the graphical user interface. The most common commands that you're going to use to help recover a system that won't boot for Windows XP are fix boot and fix MBR. Fix boot writes a new boot partition record to the designated hard drive, and this will fix most booting issues. If fix boot doesn't work, you can always try fix MBR. That writes a new master boot record to the hard drive. You need to use this with caution because it can damage the partition table. The process is almost the same in Windows Vista and newer operating systems. The main difference is that you need to begin the command with boot rec. Boot rec stands for boot reconstruction and you must use it before you use fix boot and fix MBR. As a matter of fact, those two commands are not available until after boot rec has been entered. Fix boot and fix MBR work the same in Windows Vista and newer operating systems as it did in Windows XP. Now that concludes this session on command line for the operating system part two. We discussed how to enter the recovery mode when your system is crashed. And then we talked about some command line utilities that you can use to recover once you're there. Now on behalf of Pace IT, Thank you for watching this session, and I'm sure we'll do some more.